Hey there! We're going to do our core for surfing sequence. So come on to your back. Have your knees bent, draw the shoulder blades underneath you, and maybe even pick up the hips, draw the tailbone forward, and then release back down again so you've got nice purchase on the ground. You're going to lift the knees up over the hips, and you can just like kind of let the legs hang just a little bit. Reach the arms up and back so that the palms are facing up, or maybe the palms facing toward each other. If this does not feel comfortable to you, then bring the arms back as they were, or maybe out to a T. So, you're going to extend the right toes toward the feeling, ceiling, and then extend the left toes out to hover. Then draw the knees back to where they began. Right leg up, left leg out. Take it back to start. Right leg up, left leg out. Take it back to start. Two more times like this. Always bringing those shins back to parallel, lengths to the other side. Left leg goes up, pointed toes, right leg comes out to hover. Draw them back, knees over hips. Lift up, right up. Take it on back. Lift up, right up, take it back. Lift up, right up, take it back. Once more like this, just for good measure. Take it on back. All right, this time I'm gonna take cross body movement. Right toes up, left toes out. This time you're going to cross the left arm in front of the body so that the left forearm is maybe alongside the right thigh. Take it back to the starting position. Right up, left out, left arm across. Take it back. Right up, left out, left arm across. Take it back. Right up, left up, left arm across. Take it back. One more time like this. And then we'll do the other side. Left toes up, right toes out, right arm across. Forearm maybe to thigh, take it back. Left up, right up, right arm across. Take it back. Left up, right up, right arm across. Return to start. Two more times. All right. Bend through the knees, take the hands to the shins, maybe allow the belly to rest a little bit, maybe you're off from side to side. And then you're going to interlace your fingers around the right shin, so the left leg remains free. Notice which pinky you have on the outside, because we're going to switch sides in a bit, and we want to have a little bit more equality. So you're going to use the left leg kind of as leverage. You're going to pull the left knee toward the chest, maybe the hips rise up, and then you're going to extend the leg out, point to the toes, maybe come up and land on top of the hips, the right fingertips along the right shin for balance. Take it on back. And then come back to that balancing place. Keep the heart bright. Continue moving with your own breath. Noting that if you send your eyes in a different direction, your body's going to follow. So if you start looking to one direction, you will eventually start <laughs> rotating around on your back. Use the resistance of the right hands, of the hands on the right shin, that is. And then when you're ready, come back onto your back, interlace your fingers in the opposite way around the left shin. The right leg is now free. You're using this one as your leverage. Draw the right knee toward the chest, lift up the hips. Extend out, maybe land on the hips. Take it back. And then continue this, this bit of play, rocking up and back, keeping the heart bright, using the left, the, uh, the fingertips on the left shin to keep you nice and secure. Notice just where you're starting to feel sensation. And then when you're ready, you're going to come onto your back. You're going to release the fingertips, draw the soles of the feet together, knees out wide in this Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose. So adjust as you need. And then you're going to take your fingertips to the back of the head, maybe keeping the elbows out wide. All right. You're going to start to draw the chin up, draw the shoulders away from the mat, press the feet toward each other, keep some space between the chin and the chest, and begin to lower back down. On the exhale, lift all the way up. On the inhale, begin to lower. Keep the elbows out wide, knees out wide. Lift up. Take it back down. Draw the heart up, draw the shoulders away. Take it back down two more times like this. And then take your hands to the backs of your thighs, draw the knees toward each other, maybe heel toe the feet away, further away than the hips, so the knees come down toward each other. You might just rest here in a moment for your um, in constructive rest, or maybe allow the knees to pivot and swivel from side to side. All right, next we're gonna make our way to downward facing dog. So any way you wanna get there, if you've got a lot of energy, you might take hands back to thighs. 
and then hop on back to your downward facing dog. Give yourself a little bit of pedaling. Once you get there, maybe allow the heels to drop from side to side. Maybe allow a little bit of movement through the neck. Notice that the face is feeling tight. Maybe <laughs> offer yourself a flutter of the lips. And then as you're ready, you're going to sweep the right toes toward the ceiling, three-legged dog. On an exhale, draw the knee toward the right elbow and then place your foot to the outside of the right hand, coming into this lizard pose, kind of this runner's lunge. Press the mat away from you, reach the heart forward. Maybe it took you a couple steps to get there. Step all the way back to that three-legged dog. And then again, step the right foot all the way to the top. If you need to take several steps to get there, take the several steps to get there. Once you get there, keep pressing the mat away, allow the heart to reach forward. Sweep the right leg toward the ceiling. And then again, draw the knee toward the right elbow, bypass it. Lizard pose to the right. Keep the palms down, reach the elbows forward. See if you can really reach up to the inner left thigh as well. And then when you're ready, step back, downward facing dog. All right, readjust as you need. And then inhale, left leg lifts up toward the ceiling, three-legged dog. On an exhale, take the knee toward the left elbow, place your foot to the outside of the left hand, lizard pose. If you need more steps to get there, get there. Maybe you even would like to place your hands on tops of blocks or something else, maybe a folded up blanket. Keep the right knee elevated best you can. And then three-legged dog again, left leg sweeps up. All right, take the knee all the way forward, place it to the outside of the left hand. Or the foot always left hand. Coming back into your lizard pose, seeing if you can find maybe a little bit more warmth, maybe a little more fluidity. Strike the left leg back up, three-legged dog. And then third time, on the exhale, take the knee all the way forward, step the left foot to the outside, the left hand. Again, maybe taking a block here, maybe wiggling the left foot forward. Follow your breath. Keep the belly strong. All right, and then step back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Soothing exhale. Rise to the toes, roll to the top of a plank pose. And then you're gonna come onto your forearms. So here, palms might be down, or you might choose to have pinky edge to the mat, or even take a block between your hands here. All right, make sure you have a little bit of space between your feet so that your heels are in line with your knees pretty much. And you're gonna draw your right knee toward the right elbow. Stand it back. Right knee to right elbow. Stand it back. Right knee to right elbow. Stand it back. Left knee to left elbow. Stand it back. Left knee to left elbow. Stand it back. Left knee to left elbow. Stand it back. Right knee to right elbow. Stand it back. Left knee to left elbow. Stand it back. Right knee to right elbow. Stand it back. Left knee to left elbow. Stand it back. Rock both heels over to the right. So the heels to the ceiling, rock them over to the left. Heels to ceiling, rock to right. Heels to ceiling, rock to left. Take the heels toward the ceiling, keeping your hands as they are, maybe using a block. Walk the feet in closer to you as we come into a dolphin pose. Keep pressing them out of the way. Drawing um, the inner thighs back. Maybe walking the feet a little bit closer. Just breathe. All right, and then walk the feet back to your <laughs> forearm plank. Two breaths here. Press up onto the hands as you're ready. Drop the knees to the mat, slowly lower all the way down to the ground. Bring your arms alongside the body, untuck the toes. Make the legs a little bit longer by rocking from one side and the other. <laughs> we need to adjust here. All right, we're gonna do some Pretty fun locust stuff here. So, flare through the toes, lift up on the kneecaps. Reach the fingertips back. Roll the shoulders up and back, elevating the hands. Bring them on back. Bring up the legs as well. Maybe you flare through the toes. You could point, you could point, you could find something else. But find that activity. Draw shoulders up and back. All right, take the hands like cactus arms alongside you. And then extend the fingertips toward the front of the room. Sweep the hands all the way back to where you started. Bring them into cactus arms, keep the heels lifted. Take the fingertips toward the front of the room. Swim all the way back where you started. Cactus arms. Extend fingertips forward. Sweep all the way back. 
One more deep in breath in, and then exhale, lower all the way back down. Drop the heels to the side. Maybe make the pelvic the hands for your forehead to go, or maybe you've chosen to take one cheek to the mat. Notice if you can feel your heart beating into the mat and being reflected back. All right, if you took a cheek or you made pillow hands, switch it out. And then just come on to your back. Draw the knees in toward the chest. Maybe rock from side to side. Move through the jaw. Again, if you find some tension in the face, maybe let it go or make a little pee pop sound with your lips. See if you can soften the muscles around the eyes. And then as you're ready, make your way to a seat, either rolling to one side or rocking up the length of the spine. You'll either come to Vajrasana, seated on top of your knees, a posture you find yourself on a surfboard a lot, or maybe to Virasana, with a block without heels wider than the hips and thumb toward the ground or to the block. Slide the shoulders up and back, allow the eyelids to close. On an inhale, sweep the palms toward the ceiling. On the exhale, draw the thumbs down toward the center of the chest. Again, like that, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, draw it down, feel the resistance between the hands. Sweep the arms out and up. And this time, draw the thumbs down to the heart center. Draw the shoulders back, breathe into that heart space. Soften on the exhale. Following this breath. Acknowledging this wave-like motion. And then take one hand to heart, one hand to belly. We're going to take a three-part breath here. So as you breathe in, feel the belly in the lowest part of the torso expand out. Feel that rise up through the midsection. Then all the way up through the chest and the upper back, feeling the collarbones widen. And we'll take that return path on the exhale. Feel the top part of the chest soften in. Middle chest. Low belly. Again, inhale. Starting with the low belly. Mid. Upper, softening through the top, middle, lower. Deep breath in through the lower, mid, top, release through the top, the middle, and the lower. Continue breathing like this for the next few cycles. Palms together, thumbs to the heart space. Returning to your natural breathing as you're ready. Allow the eyes to blink open. Thank you for practicing with me.